Hey, it's Body Trace Fitness. Today I am bringing you some floor exercises that you can either do on the floor or you can do on your bed, whatever is comfortable. So again, my stroke was January 25th of 2019. My left side was affected. So exercises I needed to do to strengthen my legs and my ankles to get back moving correctly and to build the strength in the affected side as well as the non-affected side. So I'm gonna start off with some simple things. I do have a band here. So if you are a little more advanced, you are a little stronger, you can add the band for some advanced movements. This one right here is a simple bridge. So one thing that I still have to work on is because I still don't have full filling on this side is to make sure my feet are aligned correctly. So if it's best, some of you could do this in a mirror or have someone assist you to make sure that your heels are on the ground while you're doing this. So I'm trying to tuck my heels in as far as I can, close to my glutes. Glutes are your behind. So heels in, hands on the floor. We're gonna lift the hips up off of the ground, press it through the heels of your feet. Squeezing your glutes. So again, your butt, squeezing your butt, lifting your glutes up as high as you can, pressing those heels through the ground. So I'm gonna hold that for 10 seconds. We're gonna drop back down. Then I'm gonna do a 10 count. I'm looking to make sure my heels are down. After I go from there for a 10 count, next move I want you to try to do. If you're at the point where you can't do past that move, you can work on holding that 10 second and then the up and down for 10. If you can take it a little further, we're gonna drive up. Taking this affected side out, trying to hold it up as far as you can. As this side is out, I am pushing through my right side, pressing through the heel. I'm gonna try to lift that glute up, squeeze it. 10 seconds. I want to relax, drop the glute back down. I want to relax the leg for a second before I take it back up. Leg is going to go back up. We're going to go up and down for 10. So as some of you know, if you've been watching my videos, I am a lot stronger, so I can go up and down for 10 now. But starting off, this was a challenge for me to take it up and down for 10. So now that I've got myself to this point, I'm going to take it a little further. We're going to lift the glute and still try to go up and down for 10. A lot more focus here. And I'm going to be honest, this is for great if you have not had a stroke or rather you've had a stroke. It's a great exercise to strengthen your glutes, your lower back, your abdomen, and to build those glutes at the same time. I just felt myself try to drop down, try to, again, pushing my glutes back up. Drop this knee in. We're gonna go for trying to balance ourselves on the affected side. Checking to make sure my heels are in. Another the good thing will help you is try pressing your knees together if that actually gives you a little more balance. And then make sure if you push through that, sometimes it'll help you keep those heels planted into the ground. So I'm going to drive in with the left side. We're going to raise up on the right. Holding it for my 10 seconds. Focus in and make sure. The glutes are up off the ground. And as I just noticed, my right leg is up a lot higher than the left one was. Try to bring it back down to make it even with the leg, with the knee. We're going for 10.
Bringing that back down. I'm going to challenge myself to make this a little harder. But now I'm going to add the resistance band. There's so many different uh, weights on the resistance bands you can get. So no particular one. You can challenge yourself to do one that has a little more resistance or one that's even a little lighter. Another thing is, I have to make sure I continually try to use this left side. So, I am right-handed anyway, so I can do a lot with the right, but I want my left side to work efficiently, so I have to force myself and to remind myself to constantly keep using this left side. Here we're gonna go. Add a little resistance. So what I'm going to do is, let me turn my mat around a little towards you. So I want to add the resistance in the knees, basically, as I try to open them up and lift the glutes. I'm opening the knees up. Again, planting the heels into the ground, opening the knees as you lift up. I'm up off the ground. We're going to drop them in. And back out. Really working the glutes here. These exercises are great glute exercises and leg exercises for stroke or non-stroke victims. But at the same time, I need to make sure my feet stay planted on the ground. Glutes are up off of the ground. But turn back sideways so you can see. Multitasking here. Tucking my heels in, lifting the glutes up off of the floor, opening the leg, squeezing up. Now I'm trying to pull it higher as I open up wider. Close, open back up. Really focus on squeezing through the glutes. Again, I count as 10. Drop back down. This next exercise. Maybe a little harder again. Started off at the beginning. So I'm going to assist my legs here as I do this. Holding my legs up. We're going to open wide for V. This can be done without the band. I'm showing you because I have the band on. With the band, of course, adds a lot more resistance. I'm going to take my hands off. Work on balance. And with that balance, it takes a lot of core muscles, too, to hold this up. So I'm working my core and my legs at the same time. So again, if you're just starting off or you're a little weaker in this area, you can hold your legs up and still do the exercise. Focus on really tightening those glutes as you open up. going to challenge you a little more here. I want to take the legs down. So what could help you assist you with this? Taking the legs down as far as you can. If you could do this yourself, do it yourself. Somebody could be beneath you or you could have a chair here give you that balance. Holding yourself up. We're going to pull the knees going to challenge you here. Knees are in. This can be done with or without the band. Bringing the knees into the chest. We're going to extend the knees out. I'm 
bringing them back in. Again, our count going for 10. So let me show you. Starting off, one of the exercises I had to do was just to try to get the knees moving, period. So I would bring the knees into the chest and I would drop them back down. So that was a bilateral march, bringing them both up at the same time. Seems so easy, but it was definitely not as easy when I didn't ha have my full function or strength on the left side. So again, we could go there or we could go from here to out. And since I have the band on what I'm going to do, a little more challenging, open up the legs. Bringing them in. I'm going to take this down towards my ankles. So this right here, I had weak adductors also coming out of my stroke. So I had to work on strengthening these areas here to help make my walk straighter. So I would have to lie on my back. So basically my heel was inward, my feet were pointing outward. So I would lie on my back and I would take, I would open up the leg, spreading out. So as you see my arms moving, sometimes I don't have control, they'll do things. Uh, they call it overuse or overtone or something like that. Overuse when you're trying to do something with one body part and the other part starts moving. So it's like a reaction that you're trying to focus on moving something and something else happens. So how the leg is down here, I would open it out. Look at the hand still trying to move. Oh well, we just gonna move it. And I would take it out. So I'll take my foot out of it. So you can see, without the band, this is the move still. Legs are down here. We're going to turn the foot outward. Open it up. Bring it back in. Going for 10. And again, we're doing both sides. Even if one side was affected, these are still great exercises for anybody. Next exercise I want you to work on, call them straight leg raises. This was definitely a challenge for me to try to keep my leg straight and to raise it up. Now I have it up, controlling it as it goes back down. still now it's a slight struggle to try to keep it straight as I try to keep that leg going straight up again I'll do the same with the right this one I'll go a little faster Go up for 10. Coming up. Again, I need to use that left hand and the right side. Another exercise I'm going to show you as I'm down here, which one will work for you. You can do it on the floor. You can do it while sitting in a chair. But basically, you find yourself doing it a little easier with a 90 degree angle. 
So we're going to cross the hairs here just so I can have a little balance. We're going to do alphabet is what this is called. And this right here is helping to strengthen your ankle. We're going to draw the alphabetic capital letters. Y'all tell, I'm on the letter E. And the great thing about it is, depending on how you do your alphabet, you're moving your ankle in all directions. So starting off, if you don't have the strength to do it while it's in the air, you would do the alphabet and your leg will be on the ground resting on something. So I'm on the letter K. So a K would be here, top, bottom. I'm going L. Now I'm going M. My M up would be here. O, P, Q, R, S, T. You know what also this is great for? Shin splits. W, X, Y, Z. So you could do this on the floor. You could do this seated in a chair. Somewhere you had, may need, some of you may need to have your leg rested on something to make this a little easier for you. You may need to have both knees propped up. So whatever works for you. So again, these are just some simple exercises to help you strengthen the glutes, strengthen your hamstrings, your quads, as well as your core, your, um, strengthen those areas to get you back in motion with getting your legs working after a stroke. And again, with these exercises being so great, you can do these whether you've had a stroke or not. So again, this is Tracy. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, turn on your notifications so you can get all of these things that I'm trying to share with you to keep you encouraged while you're in rehabilitation or just trying to get yourself in better shape than what you were previous to it. Thank you.